Good evening everyone and welcome to Team PT Mic'd Up. Tonight I'm going to introduce you for the next 14 days to my Yuletide Mania video series. So you know Ellen has her 12 days of giveaways. Well we're going to do 14 straight days that's Sunday to Sunday to Sunday or actually rather since it's Friday. We're going to start tonight I'm going to show you some videos. It can be on working out, it can be on nutrition, it can be on anything that comes to mind. So, hey, you know what? I also take any uh, explanations or any, any feedback that you have on videos that you want to see. But there is a slate that I have and enjoy it. Tonight, day number one, it's string bean. You're looking at a raw string bean. This is a string bean in its healthiest form. Here's a string bean that's been cooked for about 10 minutes. Still healthy. It's no longer raw, but it's also not in its most healthiest form. Here is 24 milligrams of sodium, or 2.4 grams of sodium. This is the recommended daily allowance of sodium we should get per day. If you sweat a lot, uh, for, if you're an athlete, or if you have some kind of uh, health issue, you may need less or more. Now what we do is we take this healthy vegetable here sometimes we do, not all the time, and we put uh, maybe half of this teaspoon here on the vegetable, turning it into, well, not really a dessert because that's more sugary, but turning it into a less healthy vegetable. Now, I'm going to give you uh, just one alternative um, between sodium and the string beans. What you can do, um, if you're not eating on a platter where the raw string bean is located, if you prefer to cook the string bean, instead of putting a lot of sodium in it, which I, I do have to admit, it does taste good, of course, with, with ham hocks, but what you can do is mix it in with other foods that are on your plate. Say, it's around the holidays, so say a scrumptious turkey or, or ham. Or, uh, or chicken or fish so you still get the sodium that you desire and the flavor which is why we use the sodium uh, that you that you wish now there's no mistake uh, about sodium this is not a science experiment sodium can be used to control fluid and volume balances in your body as well as control muscle and nerve conductivity it is a vital component of our daily life however Say you're an athlete or someone who sweats a lot, you may need more sodium than what is daily recommended. Or if you're someone who has a lot of health issues like high blood pressure or hypertension or swelling or edema, you may need less sodium. With these two, you have to be aware about how much sodium you get into your body.